We start the day reporting on a balcony across from a blue house. If I don't feel comfortable, I'm going to stand right inside the door here. You could feel Michael on the way. The pressure suddenly plummeting. My ears have been popping for a half hour. I'm not standing outside because I can't. And I won't because it is just too dangerous. We have seen debris flying. Pieces of home. Um, certainly huge. You can hear it. I mean, just take a listen to that. That incredible roar. The wind overwhelming. Stronger than in nearly half a century. I am constantly trying to keep the cool. dealing with hurricane force winds. We ride out Michael's direct hit on the second floor of a cement condo in Mexico Beach. I don't know if you're hearing the crashing. Yeah. Large chunks of debris seen flying by. I think at this point we're going to start to wrap up. We retreat further inside. But look, we've had to step away from the door because debris is flying so close to our hotel. That you see that right there. It looks so much like the, the, the hurricane I always describe to people, and that is a washing machine. You have all of this water, you have all of this wind, and you can't see anything. Just 20 minutes ago, I was able to see the homes right across. I have no idea if they are there still. And then, the car wash-like conditions. We managed to catch a glimpse of something even more terrifying. I just saw something I have never seen in real life. I saw an entire home taken off of its foundation and rolled down the street. That is the type of storm surge we're talking about right here in Mexico City at this moment. You can't see it, but we could just start to make out, and I saw the roof on its side um, rolling down the street. My heart is racing. I, again, have never seen something like a, an entire home, a well-built home, rolling down the street. We just watched that happen in real time. And I'll tell you right now, it makes you shake. We see firsthand that storm surge can be the most dangerous part of the storm. That is where the house used to be. Finally, we're ready to head outside again. So we wrote out Hurricane Michael in an interior space that was safe, but now is the first time that it's safe to come out here. And I have to tell you, the home that I saw floating away is standing there. It is no longer there. That blue house that was across from us is no longer there. Simply gone. And then we head over to the other side of the condo. We've seen a lot on the front, but seeing all of this damage, more than just snap trees, so much debris. Uh, where homes were, they are not. They are moved. They are that one there off of its foundation in the middle of a road. Um, cars everywhere and underwater. It's really wild to see in this raw moment.